All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Sasha. We're back here with another NBA quiz video. Um, you know, basketball is so close to resuming its reg or to starting its regular season. It's going to be the first time in a while that we see in its normal environment, the NBA season taking place because as great as the bubble was, which it really was, it was an, a godsend during quarantine. Um, you know, without it, I probably would have gone even more crazy than I'm going already, but you know, it was such a it was such a great uh, tournament, it's such a great idea. I'm glad that the NBA did it, but it's it's not like the normal product, and I'm gonna be so excited to see the uh, NBA players back in their normal arenas, back in their normal situations, albeit without fans for the most part. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of teams I'm looking forward to watching, uh, a lot of up and coming teams: the Phoenix Suns, the Pelicans, the Grizzlies. Um, you know, teams like that, and of course, the Wizards, I'm going to be excited to watch them as well. And then my team, the Toronto Tampa Bay Raptors. Um, it sucks that they're not going to be playing in Canada, but with travel restrictions and all that, I completely understand it. So, hey, it'll be, it'll be a cool little environment for them to play in. I just hope everyone stays safe in, um, in terms of, you know, playing in Florida and all that just because they got a lot of Kobe cases going on right now but either way look we got this uh NBA quiz video basically I'm just gonna be going through playing some random NBA quizzes not really dedicating my full time towards a really big one instead rather we're gonna be playing uh you know whichever ones I, I really feel like playing and so with this one we got can we pick where the NBA players belong in this Venn diagram of course um you know it's got five five star ratings right now uh, 750 plays so i think it'd be kind of interesting as you can see we don't have a high score for this quiz yet um so yeah we're just gonna get into it and hopefully we can name where every player goes in this Venn diagram so we start off with anthony bennett so he was the first overall pick and he is a forward he no longer plays in the nba he goes right there all right lebron course he's the epitome of all of this i think first overall pick has been an all-star plays in the west for the lakers and is a forward hopefully they won't count him as a point guard or anything like that so i'm just gonna click in the middle that's where he belongs he's all encompassing one of the best players of all time to me he's the goat but hey we're not gonna get into that kemba walker plays in the east so he's not gonna be anything over here he's not forward uh he's been an all-star so we go right there dame lillard has been an all-star and plays in the west so he goes right there blake griffin he plays in the east for the pistons he is a forward first overall pick and has been an all-star so he's this bubble ben simmons um he does not play in the west he has been an all-star he has been the first overall pick um i don't think they're gonna consider him a forward i, ho I hope i don't get this wrong but i was gonna go right there all right cool 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 cat plays in the west he is not a forward he's a center he has been an all-star was the first overall pick boom frank nilakina um he's none of these <laughs> so i'm just gonna click uh right here all right cool 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 robert covington plays in the west and is a forward so he's right here i think yeah laurie markinen is a forward cesar mccollum plays in the west he hasn't been an all-star which is kind of criminal considering you know how good of a player he is um markel was the first overall pick Kawhi is a forward that plays in the west and has been an all-star and zion is a forward who plays in the west and was a uh, first overall pick so boom got hundred on that one uh, pretty easy um yeah not not a hard one at all all right we got this one over here that i just found it says can you pick the nba starting lineups based on their colleges it's got over a thousand plays five star rating as well uh as you can see we haven't played it Where's the average rating? I want to see what. The, nah, they don't show you that to the end, right? All right, so we're just gonna play this and see what happens. Villanova, Wichita State, Indiana. All right, so these are my boys from uh from from way up north. Kyle Lowry went to Villanova. Van Vliet went to Wichita State. Uh, OG went to Indiana, and Pascal went to New Mexico State. You get where I'm going. And then this is Aaron Baines. So we got the um Raptors right there. Weber State. If you see that, you already know. Um, Dame, CJ, uh, Dame, CJ, Mello, Robert Covington, and Nurkic. So, Trailblazers, none. Tennessee, Michigan, none. Stanford. This is the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, yeah, the Milwaukee Bucks. Because Giannis didn't go to college and 
uh, Lopez went to Stanford, I think. So, where's the Bucks at? Bucks? Oh, that's not the Bucks. Weird. Okay. Where's this? When's this from? I don't know. Vanderbilt, Alabama, Auburn, UCLA, and UConn. Oh, this is this is the cat. Uh, the Cavs. It's the Cavs. It's Cavs. Cavs right here. Washington, Colorado, USC, UConn, Texas. Um, I think this is Spurs. Yeah. All right. None. Georgia. None. Kentucky. None. Oh God. First thing that comes to mind is the Lakers, cause AD went to um, Kentucky. And LeBron didn't go to college. Uh, but I don't want to click and get it wrong. So I'm just going to skip it for now. Murray State. That's my boy. John Morant and the Grizz. Virginia, Indiana, North Carolina State. Gonzaga. This is the Pacers. Because, um, uh, what's the way? Sabonis went to Gonzaga. So, and then VO went to Indiana. And then Brogdon went to Virginia. So, where's the Pacers at? Pacers. Davidson. You already know who went to Davidson. That's the boy Steph Curry. None Memphis, none Oklahoma, Duke. Okay, so the first thing that comes to mind is the Pistons. Uh, D Rose went to Memphis. Griffin went to Oklahoma. This gotta be like Julia Okafor, something like that. So uh, Pistons, we'll click that. UCLA, Florida. This, of course, is the Washington Wizards. Brody Westbrook went to UCLA. Beal, and then. Um, Whatchamacallit? Thomas Bryant went to Indiana. Shout out to Thomas Bryant. Uh, where's the Wizards at? Washington Wizards. All right, Washington, none. Washington, Arizona, USC. Now, if I remember correctly, this is the Orlando Magic. Um, Markel went to Washington. And then I think Vucevic went to USC. i click that. Yeah, Wake Forest, Kentucky. This is the Suns. Chris Paul and uh, D-Book. And then Aiden went to Arizona. Arkansas, Fresno State is the Clips because your boy Paul George and Kawhi went to obscure colleges and still ended up being NBA stars. Shout out to them. Kentucky, Oklahoma, UNC, Duke, and Marshall. Um. Oh, God. Okay, so when it comes to power forwards from Duke, the first one I think of is Jason Tatum. But then I also think of Marvin Bagley. I think this is the Kings because De'Aaron went to Kentucky. And Buddy went to Oklahoma. Yeah. All right, cool. Um, two Kentucky players in this lineup. Marquette. Jimmy. Jimmy Butler went to Marquette. So that's the Heat. Ohio State and Louisville. Uh, this is the Jazz because Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley. LSU, Duke, UNC, Tennessee, Kansas. So USC point guard huh right never mind <laughs> that's the Sixers Ben Simmons Embiid you get the likes IUPUI Kentucky Arizona State none Florida I'm thinking this is the Thunder um Florida reminds me of Al Horford but I don't want to get this wrong so I'm just gonna click next just in case this this is the Celtics right here, because um, Jalen Brown went to UCAL, Berkeley, and then Tatum, and then uh, Marcus Smart and Kemba, all to their corresponding colleges. UCLA, Villanova, Texas A&M, none, Stanford. So we got another UCLA point guard, another Villanova player. I think I think this is the Bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's the Bucks. Okay, so. I got the last one wrong because I saw Stanford. I'm, I'm like immediately. I'm like, yeah, that's gotta be, um, that's gotta be the Bucks because Lopez went to Stanford, but it wasn't, and that's life for you. <laughs> but we carry on. Kentucky, Arizona State. This is Rockets because John Wall went to Kentucky, Harden went to Arizona State, and you get you get the rest. Um, so we go there. We isn't. Louisiana Tech is always a giveaway for me. That's Paul Millsap. Also, Murray went to Kentucky, so it all makes sense to me. And Jokic didn't go. He, he came from overseas. So, this is the Nuggets. Uh, Duke, Michigan, Virginia, and two Texas players. 
Uh, this is the Nets. This is the Nets by far. Um, cause cause KD, and then Kyrie. Louisiana Lafayette. This is the. I don't even gotta go anywhere. When I see Louisiana, at Lafayette, I always think it's the Knicks because Alpha Payton. Uh, UNC UCLA Georgetown Arizona Duke. UNC UCLA Georgetown. Who went to George? Oh, this the um. This the this the Bulls because. Otto Porter went to Georgetown. Oklahoma, none. Virginia, Wake Forest. This is the Hawks. Trey Young went to Oklahoma, and John Collins went to Wake Forest. Ohio State, Georgia, Florida State, Arizona, Kentucky. Um, who all went to Florida State? Let's look at what we got here. It's not the Wolves. Um, I'm just going to skip this one for now. None, Kansas, Butler, Kentucky, Indiana. Kansas, Butler, Kentucky, Indiana. Man. These last few are kind of hard. Okay, Pitt. This is the Pelicans because Stephen Adams went to Pittsburgh. I know that for sure. And we got the Duke Stars, of course. Um, none, Georgia, none, Kentucky, none. I still think this is the Lakers. I really do think this is the Lakers, man. I'm going to go with that. Yeah, okay. IUPUI. This has got to be the Thunder. Yep, okay. Ohio State, Georgia, Florida State, Arizona, Kentucky. Okay, this is the Timberwolves. None, Kansas, Butler, Kentucky, Indiana. Um, Butler. Gordon Hayward went to Butler. So we're going to click the Hornets. And so the one I got wrong, uh, where can I look at that? Where's the one I got wrong? Because <laughs> the one I got wrong was the one with all the nuns. So it all makes sense because Porzingis, Doncic, um, they, they, they come from overseas, man. So it all makes sense. But I just want to take a look and see what I got wrong. Um, yeah, this one. It, it's already showing me. None, Tennessee, Michigan, none, Stanford. Okay, well, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. I didn't know. But, look, that was good enough for me. 97%. It's above the average score of a 73. Uh, beat the Sporkle Bot. That's all that matters. Let's find another one and end the video with that. All right, so I am I was scrolling through newest quizzes usually to find my quizzes. I couldn't really find anything to play. Um, but I went on popular today for NBA quizzes, and this is the first one that came up. It's a 2008 Redeem Team photo. Um, obviously, if you've been a fan of the of the NBA and of basketball in general in the mid 2000s, or even right now, you should be able to name every single player in here. And um, I mean, I could t I could tell you right now, I can name every single player here in less than 20 seconds, less than 15 seconds, probably. Um, but listen. This is what they want us to do. This is the most pop. This is the most popular quiz on Sporkle. The most popular NBA quiz on Sporkle today. It's got seventy-two thousand plays, man. You can see we haven't played it yet. Um, <clears throat> I guess we'll do it, man. Like I don't got anything to lose, man. We got, look, we got Boozer, we got Paul, we got LeBron, we got Michael Red, we got Dwight Howard, we got Dwayne Wade, Jason Kidd, Tayshawn Prince. Kobe, rest in peace. Oh, we got Tevin Bryant. Kobe, rest in peace. Bosh, Carmelo, and Darren Williams. Look at that. Okay, so it was 20 seconds, but part of it was because I typed in Kobe, and then I had to type in Bryant. Um, but that does beg the question, you know what I'm saying? What it says right here, or rather it said back here on the, on the previous page, who was better, the 92 Dream Team or the 2008 Redeem Team? Man, and look, um, I got a Dream Team poster right up there, right on my wall. Um, and I'm looking at the players there. I'm looking at the players here. And I'm I'm biased towards the players that I've watched play, obviously. But, man, I don't think the NBA Redeem Team can come close to the Dream Team. I think the Dream Team's only real fault i'm looking right now i'm looking at the picture it's gotta be christian leitner man like i know i understand why they took him but look here we we have um 
for the redeem team we got a good team obviously kobe and lebron are two of the best players of all time but for for that we for the other team we got you know larry bird we got michael jordan we got matt johnson uh david robinson scotty pippen claude drexler charles barkley carl malone john stockton ewing it, that's just such a good team man i i get that this is prime dwight i guess is really good carlos boozer chris paul lebron kobe and Melo. but i think just comparing the players careers to each other i think the dream team has better players overall and so although lebron and kobe could carry the team they also got really good defenders there on on the dream team so i think personally in a matchup the 92 dream team would beat the 2008 redeem team but uh also, who, who, you know, you know what I'm saying, couldn't name that. Is it Michael Red? Yeah, it's Michael Red that they couldn't name. I'm surprised that not so many people know about Darren Williams, man. How you not know about Darren Williams, man? That's crazy. That is crazy. This guy got this all done in 13 seconds. That's wild. I'm sure I can't type that fast. All right, and I think we're going to end it on this quiz right here. Can you name the top 25 wings in the NBA for the 2021 season, according to Bleacher Report? Um, I think it'd be interesting to take a look at it. Um, so we're just going to start playing the quiz. We got five minutes to name that. Oh, that's, we got LeBron. We got Kawhi. Uh, we got KD. We got JT. We got Jimmy. We got Paul George. We got Chris Middleton. Uh, Celtics, we got Jalen Brown, the Pels, Scotty B.I., Hornets, Gordon Hayward, really? Really now. Gordon Hayward, all right. Uh, we're going to put Joe Harris on here. They did put Joe, Joe Harris on here. Is it going to be Dinwiddie? Nope. Are they, who are they counting a, a Nets wing player? Surely, uh, nah, bro, it's not. Okay, so we got DeMar. Um... Are you gonna call are you gonna count Van Vliet a wing player? No. Okay, so are they gonna call Siakam a wing player? Also no. So are they gonna call Ananobi a wing player? They are. They are, but I'm just surprised he's up that high. Like, I didn't think I didn't think we get that much credit for for all that. Um Jazz. Well, I think Bogdanovich is gonna be on here. Yeah, both of both of Bogdanovich is gonna be on here. Um, Pacers player though, Pacers wing TJ Warren. All right, Pistons wings. Piston wing player. This is Jeremy Grant. It is Jeremy Grant. Uh, who is this Jazz player, man? Blazers. Robert Covington. Suns. Mikael Bridges. Yeah. Nuggets. Oh, Porter Jr. is gonna be one of them. Yeah. Um, Mavericks. Uh, Josh Richardson, right? I still gotta get used to Josh Richardson being on the Mavericks. I forget about him a lot in these quiz type things. And then this gotta be like Drake J. Crowder, right? Okay. So jazz players. Ah, I don't even know who I'm missing. Oh, Joe Ingles? Alright, so who's the... Who is this next player that I'm missing? Oh, Karis. Why did I forget about Karis over? Alright, cool. Easy hundred. I don't know why I forgot about Karis LeVert for a second there. Um, you know, some players I thought that was going to be on here that weren't on here. Like, when I saw Trailblazers, I, I, my, my mom went to Carmelo, but, like, you know the media doesn't give Carmelo his props. So, I didn't think Bleacher Report would rank him really high. Um, in terms of, like, players on here, I'm surprised Jay Crowder's on here. Um, I know he's an impactful player, but top 25 wing player that's something else like that's that's a real that means you're really highly regarded as a player and granted yes he is but i don't know i don't I, i'm not really sure let's let's pull up um bleacher reports article and see what they say lebron obviously Kawhi, kd tatum butler paul george yo paul george gets way too much hate like i i understand that i released a video saying the same thing but like he was really this was before he said that he was struggling with mental health things so man i hope he's all good um we got middleton yeah 
I think Brown's going to be more impactful than Chris Middleton. I think Grant Ingram's going to be more impactful than Chris Middleton. I think this is really high for Gordon Hayward, to be fair. But also, he's proven himself to be a, a really good player before. Um, it's just that he hasn't really been playing, you know, as it says right here, holding him to the same standards. All NBA building block is going to be a blueprint for disappointment. But he just got paid so much money for, you know, for just playing some... I, I wanted to... You know, think about what word I was gonna say, but some okay basketball. Uh, Karis is gonna be really good. Demar always. You know what? I'm happy they ranked OG really high. I'm surprised that they put OG up there. That's why at first I was like, are they gonna count Freddie as a wing player? Are they gonna count Siakam? Because I didn't think they were gonna give OG as much props as they did. But like, I'm glad because OG definitely, definitely is gonna be uh, making more, more, more of an impact in Tobias more than impact of Bogdanovich and tj and stuff like that like personally that's just my opinion but no i think this list is really good um i hope jeremy grant is gonna perform up to hit the standard that he set himself in the bubble because he got himself a bag and grant is a really good player but like i don't know if he's gonna be like ready for that next level of offensive productivity that he's gonna have in detroit i also think robert covington is very very under underrated right here at number 20 I take him over Ingles. I take him over Grant. I take him over Bogey. I, t I wouldn't take him over TJ, but I think TJ is also just ranked really low, man. I'd probably take him over Tobias, but hey, whatever. Mikel, Michael Porter, Josh Richardson, Joe Harris, and Jay Crowder. Yeah, I think that's a very solid list. I think that's a very, very solid list. And so with that, we're going to end the video. Like and subscribe if you're new and if you enjoyed the content. I really appreciate everyone's support. Uh, we're going to be growing on the on the basketball grind on the nba grind man because as soon as that season starts it's like we're gonna hit a different switch you know it's just like lebron's playoff mode zero dark 30 i promise you it's gonna be it's gonna be so much fun to watch the nba season and so we're gonna be making content for that throughout um and yeah so on that note peace out hope you enjoyed